One of my other subscribers has asked about how you flash ESCs to update the firmware to the Simon K version, which is much better for flying quads, it's far more responsive, and sets all of the parameters on the ESC to work perfectly. Um, I'm about to flash four of these as I'm making another model, so I thought it was the perfect opportunity to show how it's done. There's a couple of things that you need to do it. Obviously you'll need the speed controllers. This works great with these 20 amp versions from Hobby King. Also the 30 amp, which is slightly different, it has a light blue covering as opposed to black shrink wrap, uh, is identical in the way you do it. You'll need a program of some description. I'm using my USB ASP programmer that I purchased to update things like the KK 2.0 firmware. It actually comes with a ribbon cable. This end plugs into the uh, programmer and this end would normally plug into the KK 2.0 but when I show you the pinouts that you need to connect to on the board you'll notice that they're the same pinouts that are actually on here MOSI, RST, SCK, MISO it's the same stuff so you can actually make a cable up like I have here and I'll show you how that I did that to, um, to save yourself some money you can buy uh, a, a version of the programmer specifically to update 80 mil um, chips that are used on things like the speed controller but it's about twenty dollars and as I already had one of these and they're less than five dollars each it was just easy for me to make up the cable I've used it many many times now and it works great so the first thing we'll look at is the actual speed controller if we turn it upside down in the same position on all the speed controllers there are these six pads underneath the heat shrink. Now the way I access this is using a very sharp knife. I slice just to one side of the middle ESC lead, just at the edge and along the bottom, and then lift it up. And actually here what I'm doing is holding it in place with a little piece of black insulation tape. And when I've finished, I fold the flap down and put the black insulation tape over the top. It saves me having to put any heat shrink back on the, uh, on the whole thing and add any more weight. Now you can see these six pins at the bottom. These six pins are laid out, as you can see here, it's MOSI, MISO, socket ground, VCC and reset. Not sure if it stands for socket, but that's what it always looks like to me. Um, so now we know the pinouts, we can actually make this cable. So what I did uh, is I took one of these cables that you tend to use to connect your receiver to your control board and took out each of the pins and then cut the cable in half. So what I ended up with was six leads with pins at one end and bare wires at the other. And what I did was I just, for each of these cables, I just split them and soldered them onto the bottom of each of these pins. Now what these things are, these are Arduino risers. They have six long pins. You get them in packs of three or four, and I used one to connect the um, bits and pieces to by soldering, and then I plugged the, that into this one, where I've pushed the pins together so they're the right width for the pads on the ESC. So for example, if we think about that diagram again, the left hand pin needs to be MOSI. So if we follow this brown cable all the way down, you'll find that it plugs into the MOSI pin on this USB ASP connector. And what you do is you just follow that for all six, and there you are, for very, very little money, you've converted your USB ASP programmer into one that can flash the KK as well as also now flash ESCs. So what we'll do next is we'll have a look at the actual software that you need to run. Now I won't um, cut away from the screenshot, I'll just go through it, but all I'm going to do is plug this USB ASP into the computer and then the way I do it is I hold, because these are slightly um, flexible pins, I gently apply some pressure, make sure that the, the pins are sat exactly on the pads and just hold them like that and click the button on the computer. So let's go and have a look at the software you need. Now we've got the cable and we've got the speaker. So here we are, we're looking at the software that we're going to use to flash the speed controller. It's available from the web address that's showing at the bottom of the screen and I'll put the same link in the notes at the bottom of the video. 
There's a couple of things that you have to set up in here first before you can actually flash the ESC. The first is to make sure that you've got the right kind of programmer selected. It'll probably default to USB ASP, and that's what you need. Leave the port and board rate at the defaults. We need to choose our controller. There's lots of different ones here, in, including the KK2.0 uh, boards. We want to choose the 80 mega 8 based brushless ESCs. I choose the one with bootloader because that allows you to update it afterwards just using the servo lead rather than the USB ASP bits and pieces. Then we need to select the kind of firmware that we need. Here's all the firmware from Simon Kirby. Simon Kirby is the Simon K you hear about on the forums. He uh, is a very smart guy who writes all of these firmware updates. We just choose the latest one. And then when we're ready, we're going to hit the green button by the side of the screen. So just off the camera, what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully place the pins for the ASP cable onto the pads on the speed controller and I'll hit the green button. And what it'll do, it'll download the update from the internet, it'll verify it, and then you'll see it writing onto the speed controller. Then it'll read it, and at the end it'll say, flashing of firmware was successful. You click OK, and it's all finished. So, that's how you update speed controllers, that's how you can make a cheap and cheerful cable to do it, and that's the software and process that you go through.